I'm with Officer Joe Silva with the Stockton Police Department. There have been two homicides overnight. Officer Silva, can you tell us what's been going on? Sure, so last night at around 11.15 p.m., our officers were called out to the McDonald's in the 600 block of West Martin Luther King Boulevard on a report of a shooting. And when they got to the McDonald's, they located a vehicle in the drive-thru, and in the vehicle were two victims suffering from gunshot wounds, a male and a female, and they were described as being in their early 20s. Both were transported to area hospital, and unfortunately, the male died from his injuries at the hospital, and right now the female is listed in critical but stable condition. So we called out our homicide investigators, and as they were processing that scene, we had a report of a shooting here on Volney at about 3.30 this morning, and when our officers arrived here, they located a woman in her early 30s who was suffering from a gunshot wound, and she was transported to a hospital where sadly, she was pronounced deceased. So as you can imagine, we have two active homicide scenes that we're investigating. And right now we don't have a motive for either. These are still very fresh scenes, fresh active investigations. So we're hoping someone has some information and will provide it to our investigators so that we could figure out the events that led up to both of these homicides. But right now, they do not appear to be related. And any connection to the Thursday night uh, slaves. Yeah, right now we don't believe any of them appear to be related. As you can imagine, over the last couple, several days here in the city of Stockton, we've seen an uptick in violent crime, specifically gun violence. We've had five people shot and killed, and that is just unacceptable. And we need the community's help because we got to get these cowards with guns off the streets who's been out there in these neighborhoods and last night at the McDonald's just committing these brazen acts of violence. We know people have information and you gotta put things into perspective. Our investigators have been working nonstop. We've had chaplains, we've had our officers meeting with the families of these victims and they're frustrated right now. And so are we because they're asking questions. They want people held accountable for their actions. And right now we don't have information coming into the police department on any of these homicides. So if someone has information, step up to the plate, do the right thing, and contact us. Thank you.